friends hey guys welcome to the vlog Let me turn the car off uh how y'all doing welcome 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 to lyrium have you seen that movie she's the man nope okay cool it's tuesday ella was home sick yesterday and by sick i also mean oh my gosh this sweater is gonna be famous because i wore it in yesterday's vlog oh huh, interesting she was home with allergies but she is good and she is back to school today and i'm going to be answering questions that you guys ask me over on instagram so make sure you follow me over there lauren brazy my name um i'm on it a lot especially in the middle of the night during like the nighttime feeding session and everything so uh follow me there let's answer any questions that people have i will answer because i am an open book and i will talk about pretty much anything is that a good thing is that a bad thing i don't know but it's a thing say hey ladies check out my outfit today i look like a little man you look like a little dude oh my goodness t-shirt and some little pants are you mama's boy are you mama's boy yeah you're my boy he looks so sweet and so big so big daddy's taking a shower and then mama takes a shower and i'm gonna put real clothes on today no sweatshirt what is this what is it Let's answer a question from Instagram. Do you want to pick one? What helps you stay so positive and upbeat a lot of the time? I love your energy 24 seven. That's from Alyssa Marie. Say what helps me stay so positive and upbeat? I am of the camp of fake it till you make it, baby. Um, not all the time, cause like you can't fight the funk, you know? I have found, look, I'm like a troll under a bridge. It's fine. I have found that when I'm not feeling it is when I really turn it on and just like fake it till I make it and typically if I do that I'll start to feel better and I'll you know perk back up but my na my personality naturally is just you know <laughs> a little too much. I would say that's how I stay so positive upbeat in upbeat is I, I just fake it until I feel that way and if I don't feel that way then I'll just embrace the funk i've been in kind of a funk the last few days as far as like i just feel gross like i i like my hair is breaking and postpartum hair loss is starting my skin is all red and weird and i don't know why <sighs> first postpartum period so i haven't been able to fake it much but i do know when i get myself together also that helps me a lot when i eat better that makes a huge difference too i feel like just when i'm good to myself physically um it's easier to be like upbeat and happy but my personality is a little too much and i think that's just like naturally who i am it's probably not a really good answer but it's the only answer i got i'm lightly caffeinated Ooh, nice burp love that for you i just want to look like a normal person today i want to like put a little makeup on i don't know I feel like the last three days I've looked rough. I'm not always spunky and happy and energetic. Maybe I need to show that side of me more. Hey guys, so it's been a hot second since I checked in. So much has happened in the last 10 drama. minutes. Uh, we left the house, John forgot to shut the door, so our cameras were going off because our sweet neighbor next door shut the door, so then I was thinking the dog ran away. So then I called my other neighbor, she ran over and checked, the dog was fine, dog had no intention of leaving the house, which I love that for us. Yeah. I'm gonna give her a treat when we get home because good girl Trixie, you didn't run away, mama loves you. I was like, what if the dog's gone? So. That all happened while we were at the chiropractor and as soon as we left the chiropractor, I got the email that the Gardner Scholarship opened up. So that is a first come first serve scholarship, which means you do every, you stop what you're doing and you do it. So that's what we've been doing. We just went and got the paperwork notarized. So Have you told them how much like schooling and that is? Or? I haven't told them how much it costs, but it's a pretty penny. Yeah. Um, so. I'm very hopeful since we're getting on this, it'll be sent in everything today that we have a good chance of hopefully getting in. So fingers crossed. So all of my Florida peeps who have special needs children in the public school, uh, actually gardeners for like private school and homeschool kiddos. Um, if you have a private school kiddo and you're wanting to get them a scholarship, even if you're doing homeschool with them, the gardener 
can be used towards that. So you should definitely check it out. I'll leave a link down below. Don't steal my spot, <laughs> you know? Okay. But it is a first come first serve um, scholarship. And I feel like most parents in the special needs realm know about it here in Florida, but if you don't, you should definitely check it out. It's a great scholarship. It's a great program. They also have another one that they're available this year uh, with the tax income credit scholarship, I believe. And um, they actually just diversified the annual incomes for family members. So basically more people can get that one too as well. So I'll leave links down below for both it'll help you out, but it is a first come first serve thing. So if you're gonna do it, you gotta get on it. So that's what we've been doing. And little dude is chilling. We stopped by my parents' house cause I had to use their printer. My mom had her second shot yesterday. So she's feeling like hot garbage today. So we went and checked on her and gave her some baby snuggles that helped. It was just a very dramatic couple hours, honestly. So, yeah. oh, and I started my period. I, we're friends here, so I can tell you that. It, I don't know, it is probably TMI to most people, but to this group, it's not. Just explains a lot of things that I've been experiencing. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, so that's interesting, because I, I, yeah. Okay, we'll answer more questions when we get home. <laughs> but I need to eat, because I have not eaten today, so let's get that under Neither control. We are home and I'm going to be having my first meal of the day, which is Oats Overnight. And I'd like to thank Oats Overnight for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Holy moly, I've been trying this for a little while, you guys. And I wanted to give you like my honest opinion about it. And I, my dog's drinking. Take your time. I wanted to give you guys my honest opinion about it. So I have been trying it for a little bit and I've had several different flavors. Uh, my favorite flavor that I have tried personally is the blueberry cobbler. It's the one that I made this morning. It is so incredible, it's so good. This is like one of the easiest breakfasts that I've found for me. Oats overnight is super easy to make. You just pour eight ounces of milk or milk substitute into your shaker bottle and then you add your packet, whatever flavor you like. There's so many flavors they have. Uh, strawberries and cream, maple pancake, chocolate peanut butter, apple cinnamon. It is so delicious. It is a drinkable oats overnight. <laughs> so you just shake it up after you let it sit in the fridge either overnight or after three or four hours when it's ready. That's what I did this morning. It's been in the fridge about five hours and it's perfect. And you drink it just like you would drink a normal like shake and it's delicious. The taste is so so, 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 so good. And it's filled with all good things for you. Chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. It has maca powder, real dried fruit in it. It is absolutely delicious. It's super, super, super filling. It's delicious and it's just a healthy overall alternative for a quick and easy breakfast. And honestly, it's so good. Oatmeal is like one of my favorite things to eat anyways. And this just takes it to like a whole nother level. I've never had flavors like this of any kind of oatmeal I've ever had. So that's been really fun because every time I try one, I'm like, oh, that's really good. And then I try another one. It's super good. The maple pancake one, you guys, this one, holy moly. It's absolutely delicious. It's also low sugar and gluten free and they offer a vegan option as well, which is super cool. If you guys wanna check out Oats Overnight for yourself, you can use the code Lauren15 for 15% 15 off your order. There's a link down below, you can check it out. I told you I will never bring to you guys food, especially because, hello, I will never bring any kind of thing to you guys that is not really, really good and I have tried this in multiple different flavors and it is delicious and it is so absolutely filling and it just it's easy it's so easy and honestly like my husband is a shaker bottle connoisseur and the shaker bottle is really nice <laughs> so if you guys want to check that out for yourself go ahead and hit the link down below and let's get into another question now that i am stressed well i'm, I'm stress-free almost we're we have to send out that scholarship paperwork and then i will be stress-free right maybe so I've gotten a couple questions about Everett meeting his milestone. There's actually one that said, has Everett met his milestones and will we be doing early intervention with him? Um, yes, he said his milestones. He's actually ahead of hitting his milestones, but Ella did too when she was a baby. Um, Ella hit all of her milestones too when she was this young. I mean, it's kind of hard to pinpoint anything along those lines for us at least with him. Um, but if we need to do early intervention, if any red flags arise in the next year of his life, then we will. But as of right now, we have absolutely 
no worries about him possibly being on the autism spectrum. Um, I know we discussed a lot before I had him. Honey, I don't know if you wanna hop in on this conversation or not. We discussed a lot before having another child like about them possibly being autistic and what that would look like for our family. And then I got pregnant and then we literally never talked about it since. <laughs> so we've had a couple of like, we have questions about it obviously because people are like, aren't you so scared that you're gonna have another child that's autistic? And no, we're not currently. Are you? No. I don't wanna speak for both of us. Is it something that crosses my mind? Sure. Mm -hmm. But it's not something I worry about until we would have to face that or, you know, we just kind of be cognizant and look for different things. Yeah. Obviously, like we look and make sure he's hitting milestones, things like that. But like you said, Ella hit all her milestones. Yeah, she did. She really did. Um, our big red flag for Ella when she was young, it wasn't a baby. Um, but we also didn't know what to look for when she was a right. baby we, either. We, had, we were new parents and had no clue. No clue. They're very different kids, so they're very mm -hmm. different. But that doesn't mean that they're very different in the sense that he is not autistic. Because I, I don't would know. Say the difference I've noticed mm -hmm. between Ella and Everett, Everett is more expressive yes. with things. Um, he socially smiles yes. so much and Ella never really did that. No. Ella was different in a sense of she would smile, she would interact with things. Mm -hmm. Ella was very fixated on lights, mm -hmm. um, changing lights, changing things, which Everett is attracted to them, but he's, it's not a fixation on them. He's really focused on like us and right. he really likes to do the talk back and forth like cooing and mm -hmm. he's really into mom and dad right now and that's kind of... He's just, I hate when he makes noises like that. It stresses me out. I know. Yeah, I'm um, they're wildly different children, and yeah. it's because they're two different people, not because of autism. So right. if we ever see something that is like triggers something and we're like, hey, that might be a red flag, we will immediately do early steps and um, go from there. But yeah, currently, I, it's not an issue. I, I don't think... When did we finally notice it with Ella? When do you think? Uh, like two. She stopped... Like she wasn't talking mm -hmm. and um, she was just having some behaviors that were different and she was lining stuff up and she was hand flapping. Right. And when I looked all of those things up, it said, went 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 autism. Uh, so that's Which, kind of when it really. Right. And that's, you know, we. She hand flapped for her whole life. Oh yeah. Always. Always. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> mean. laughing. You can try to say like, oh, this, I noticed this, this, and this, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that your child is or isn't on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, we make sure that our children are hitting their milestones, doing their things. I mean, Ella, since having him, has been independent mm -hmm. all of a sudden. Um, yeah. So, I agree. yeah, definitely. I'm going to eat my lunch so I can go pick her up here okay. soon. So, yes and no, it's, we are paying attention, obviously, always, as we do with Ella anyway. Like, we just, you pay attention to your kids, making sure they're doing things. Um, but we're not hyper focused on it and we're gonna take it you know one month at a time because that's kind of how development works for babies so listen i'm taking it one day at a time i know okay. one day at a time sounds better <laughs> we're taking it one day at a time so my uh don't let being scared of an autism diagnosis like control your life because it's it it's just not it's not productive number one because right. you're always going to be worried and you're going to see things that may not necessarily even be there and number two, um, it doesn't really matter because what will be, will be. And that's how we're kind of tackling life right now with two kids is what will be, will be. Broski, you didn't tell me we had peanut butter cookie dough. Peanut butter cookie dough. I'm going to have to try it. Okay. You okay? It was a rough morning, y'all. It was. Everybody's like, you're so cheery and you're so positive. Listen, you should have seen me positively freaking out on the ride home because I was not positive. But I do like... I was positive she was going to stab me. If my dog ran away, that's my baby. I was like, yeah. can they pull her chip? Can we track her down? But she's fine. She had no intention of leaving this house. She lives a very good life, so I'm not surprised. But I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. I have a lot of questions on baby gear. I'm going to be putting out a video this week on baby gear. Yes. I am an unofficial product tester for all these babies. <laughs> It's sick. It's a and little manic. Not, yeah, and we're not paid for them. So no, not at all. <laughs> it's stuff we buy. It is stuff I buy in the dead <laughs> of night. I'm like, well, maybe a magic Merlin suit will work. I, I wake up at 4 a.m. and I always check 
the bank account or the cart on Amazon to see what has been purchased overnight. Just so you know, my uh, basket video has inspired me to, uh, he's like, what are you getting a flint fire starter for? Oh. My life water straw. I'm gonna be fully prepped, don't you guys worry. And water, you know. Which we have water, it just was not We always in the have water, yeah. It's I, not. I would say we probably have like 48 bottles of water. I have a lot of questions about Elle, how's she doing? How's she doing? How's she doing? Elle is doing awesome. Ella is doing real awesome. It's interesting because this, no, this video has kind of gone like, I got a lot of questions about autism and I wasn't expecting that. Like a lot mm -hmm. of autism questions and then naturally like some like, Which is how do you get your baby to sleep? What baby products do you love? And those are like, that's its own thing. But I was kind of surprised about like, are you worried that Ev will have autism? Are you worried that, you know, are you watching his milestones? Do you see any red flags? Are you doing this? And I'm like, huh, I haven't worried about that not one time since he's been born. I follow his milestones on Wonder Weeks app because it tells me and he's hitting them, but it doesn't really consume me. Um, but as far as worrying about him having autism and milestones and stuff, it just doesn't worry me because I don't want to steal the joy of him being little. Like and I want him to be little. I want to enjoy him being little mm -hmm. and I don't want to be like, well, autism flags start popping up now or like if he did have autism then he would be doing this it's because like we don't know and we won't know definitely and it's something we are cognizant of yeah but we aren't focused on right um i think we kind of touched on this earlier we did but, but we can it's, a, it's a lot it's a lot of questions i get and right. in my real life i get even more questions like so do you like think he'll have autism and it's like no i think about it as much as I think maybe I don't know who he'll be or what what right. what challenges he'll face. I have no freaking idea. I have no idea. If we had genetic testing, maybe we would know. I don't even know then if you would really know. Because I don't think people mean it to be negative. No, I don't think so either. It's it's a real question. And was it something we talked about when Lauren was pregnant? Of course, it's yeah. something that we have. I don't want to say focused on, but it's something that we have talked about. We talked about it a lot before we even right. decided to get pregnant. Right. We're kind of at the point where as long as they're happy, healthy, that's what we care about. Yeah. Having autism doesn't make you unhealthy. It doesn't no. make you... It, it's literally just a... Your brain works differently. Right. And it can put you in dangerous situations and you're more, you know, it can do, it can cause other things as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. um, we're really lucky Ella has no other underlying health conditions and right. um, we just hope the same for Ev. All we truly want for him is to be healthy yeah. and safe. That's why I make him chart poop. <laughs> it's true. Because Ella had poop issues. I mean, I can't say she has no issues. We have GI issues all up in this family. Well, I was going to say, I mean, But it's... um, that's why I chart his poop. Because yeah. I, I want to make sure that he's going. And he is. So if you guys are worried about how much he's pooping, send me an email and I'll let you know. Because um, he's going like a champ. But it was like, yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's really good. He's better than this whole house. So yeah. we're super proud. That's my boy. Oh. <gasps> Everett. Hi. In true Lauren fashion, I forgot to end the vlog. But thank you guys so much for watching and asking questions and just being a part of our family. We love you guys. If you guys wanna check out Oats Overnight, make sure you click the link down below and use my code to save 15% off. And we will see you guys in the next video. <sighs> First postpartum period. <laughs> Send help, SOS.